Hello folks, my name is Melvin and welcome to this wonderful place that we call the internet. Um, I, didn't I didn't read this article at all, um, but I thought the title was interesting. It was giving a term, kid dolts, how I guess now more than ever, uh, adults are buying toys for themselves, not for their kids or their loved ones. They're buying it for themselves. They're enjoying things that were once categorized as kids, kids toys. Um, and I just want to talk about that a little bit because I am part of that generation, you know, before it was like once you became an adult, video games were a kid's thing, you know, if you were playing a, video games as an adult, you were seen as a weirdo. Um, but I kind of grew up at the right time because there's tons of people that still play video games after they're adults. In fact, I'm trying to think of a single friend that doesn't play video games as an adult and I can't even I can't even think of one. Every single friend I have plays video games. Uh, my manager, who is 15 years older than me, plays video games. Like, it is just normal. It is, it is just fine to enjoy. It's fine to enjoy whatever you want. Um, it's, so yesterday I went to Taco John's and I had myself a, it was a chicken quesadilla it was a soup, it was like a burrito with potatoes in it. I forgot what it was called, but it had potatoes in it. It was a burrito. And then I had a large uh, potato oles with nacho cheese. Uh, all of it was fine. The potato oles were way too salty. It was, <laughs> I can't believe I finished it. I have a weird thing where it's like, I will finish food even if I hate it, you know, except for like vegetables. <laughs> Other than vegetables, I will, I will scarf it down even if it tastes nasty. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I am trying to exercise, I am trying to be fit, be healthier, and I understand that was a bad uh, health decision, but at the same time, I've started caring less about when I break my diet, when I cheat on my diet. Um, I do want to be consistent. That is always the goal, is to be as consistent as possible in terms of exercising and eating. Um, but yeah, just when I came home, I just... I was like, oh, I like Taco John's. Let me, let me get their food. Um, but the something that I always go through is whenever I order the food, the back of my mind feels guilty that I'm breaking my diet, that I'm eating. Because I told myself I wasn't going to try to eat out two times in a row because I did it the day before. I had Culver's. Um, so I was, you know, I, I didn't, I felt bad for lying to myself, deceiving myself. And I sometimes think that bad feeling is just as bad as the food that I'm eating. So that gives me two reasons not to eat out. But also at the same time, I'm living my life, you know. The more I go online, the more I see people die unexpectedly. They're not dying of old age. They die for many different reasons. Um... Just look at the YouTube channel Inside Edition. You'll see tons of videos like that. People dying unexpectedly. People losing their fingers and limbs unexpectedly. People needing to go to the hospital unexpectedly. Like, that is just a part of life, you know? Um, can't escape it. Can't do anything about it. Um, you are a mortal. You're not immortal. You are a mortal. Um, I tried rollerblading uh, during the springtime. I fell one time one time and now i seemingly have permanent knee pain don't know how to resolve it um now that i have health insurance i will try to i will try to go to the hospital and see see what can be done about that but it's been going on for like six months now you know it's about to be six months so yes you are a mortal there are a list of things that you have to deal with and that's just a part of life that is so i guess what i'm trying to get at what the whole conversation is leading to is learn to en enjoy your life actually learn study it study who what kind of person you are it's hard to change as a person it's very difficult so don't don't try to become a brand new person overnight start studying what what makes you tick, you know? And that's what I've been slowly doing this year. I think that's what has made me successful for um, changing my mood, my personality these uh, past, and even doing this show. 
I would have never in my life made a show like this in this format, um, talking to you guys. I hated making videos without a script. I just felt like they weren't as good. I felt that I could do better, you know, do higher quality stuff. And now I'm learning that doesn't matter. What matters is what you do today, what you try to accomplish today. That is truly all that matters in your day to day. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know how you're going to feel tomorrow. You, you don't know. You, there's so many things out of your control. Um, this year, in 2022, I tried getting into stocks because I keep getting told that you need uh, you need a backup. You know, <laughs> you can't rely on the cash that you make to retire. So I was like, okay, I will invest in the stock market. And then I get told, no, like <laughs> you, you should invest in the stock market. It's going to crash. We're going to be in a recession. Okay. So then maybe I shouldn't, Hey, you should invest in crypto. You should, you should have something else other than the U S dollar. Okay. I'll invest a tiny, tiny, like I really do mean tiny in the crypto. Oh no, you shouldn't invest in crypto. Um, it's a scam. You know, not only did this company scam, but this other company is scamming using crypto. Um, it's it's just, it's I can't control that. Um, so my theory, not financial advice, but if the, if the financial market fails, then my money is worthless, you know? If, if we have another financial collapse, my money isn't really gonna help me. Yes, I have a good amount of cash in, in my savings, just in case, in case I get into a car accident, in case I need to pay off some hospital bills. Um, but yeah, I am still going to do the things that I think are important. And yeah, I do think investing a little bit in the stock market is important. But yes, I have officially lost money <laughs> into it. Not a, not a ton of like nowhere near a ton of money. And it was an amount that I was ex like, I was, I'm totally cool with if I lose all of it. Like it sucks if I lose that amount, but it's, I knew what I was getting into when investing into it. So you can't, you can't expect all your decisions to be whoa, whoa, 10 out of 10, you know, amazing. You can't expect life to be 10 out of 10. All you, all you can do in your day to day is figure out what you want to accomplish in your day to day. And what things are you going to do to help you get closer to your goal? Never make goal ne never never focus on the end goal you want end goals you do but you want to make goals in between that final end goal you do want to do that you want tiny little you know think of it like a, a like a trail of breadcrumbs except you're eating the breadcrumbs you know as you go along each breadcrumb you eat is an achievement you want your achievements to be as easy as picking up a breadcrumb from the ground and eating it. It's not sanitary, but just hold on, it's an analogy. And the reason is, you want to train your brain that, oh, it's easy to accomplish good things and to be a better person. You can do it. And you're going to fall off sometimes, you know? I don't know. Maybe that was too many carbs and you need to, you need to slow down a bit. I don't know, something. But... You, you'll, you'll get back up. You'll, you'll, your mind will slowly start to figure out ways around your problems, your, your, your situation. It takes time. That's really all you got to know. We don't have a limitless supply of time, but time is such an important tool. Time is what allows you to grow. Literally, it is what allows you to grow. So just, just, Keep doing the things that are good and let time do its work. All right. Thank you so much, folks, for watching, for listening. All right. Go out and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, if you're like me and you're experiencing winter, stay warm. Wear some long johns. Take care, folks.